soldiers. We're going to welcome General Sherman like soldiers. Now, we're going to keep the ranks straight. Stay in step. All right, left face. Right shoulder, turn. Forward, two. Want to take a look, Wade? Sure. I never saw anything like that before. Now, today the BPS and D is going to turn this little crossroads wood stop upside down. Barnabas. Now, they'll come out right side up. Would you like one when they're developed? Oh, yeah. A picture of General Sherman? Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe we could get one of the troops, too, huh? Sure, I'll make up an extra print for you. Hey, do you think General Sherman will make a speech today? Uh, just a short one. He'll only stop in Pikesville for a minute or two. Wade? Come on. He's not bothering us, ma'am. I run a business, Mr. Tarrant. Not a backdrop for a carnival. Wade earns his money by doing chores, not watching the sight. All right, I need somebody to carry around some equipment. The Thank job pays two bits an hour. Think you can handle it, Wade? Sure, sure I can. You're a corrupting influence. You mind if I corrupt you as well, Miss Anderson? I've got to test my camera, and you'd make a mighty pretty subject. Don't worry, Wheezy. You look real pretty. Just remember you speak loud and clear so the general can hear you. And, and stand up nice and straight. And smile. You here to see the general? Indeed we are, ma'am. I must apologize for interrupting. Oh, well, Mary Louise was just about to practice her poem. Would you like to hear it? I'd be happy to, ma'am. Wheezy, recite your poem for the gentleman. Kenneth of frown in its glory, frowned down in the flag of the free. But the East and the West bore out standards as, as... As Sherman marched down to the sea, still onward we pressed as our banners, swept out from Atlanta's grim walls. And the blood of the patriot dampened the soil where the traitor flag falls. Well, you remember that just fine, mister. All my kinfolks have good memories, sir. Will? What is this, a robbery? No, sir. It is an execution. Famous man, General. One more civic luncheon, and I'm going to develop a famous case of indigestion, Mr. Calhoun. Where's the next ambush? Well, it's a little crossroads here called Pikesville. Well, I imagine they'll have a mayor, a band, a ladies' auxiliary, and a hot fried lunch. <laughs> maybe, but I don't think so. It's just a little village, maybe a dozen families. Shouldn't be bad at all. Hmm. Thank you. Have a seat. everybody to step to the other side of the tracks. I'd be applied for your understanding, gentlemen and ladies. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Captain Hugh Sinclair, Army of the Confederacy, and my company, Willie Sinclair, Jimmy Sinclair, Lou Sinclair. Pleased to know you all. And Jess. Now, who owns this store? I do. Amelia Henderson. Miss Henderson, pardon my haste, but please understand. 
I want all your guns and ammunition. Lou, will you escort the lady to her supply room? The lady will suffer no insult, sir. I promise no harm will come to any of you, unless you create trouble. Sergeant, I'm asking for your cooperation. Well, you got a long wait, Reb. Don't you care about these people? Yeah, I care. Then why are you risking their lives this way? I do as he says. I don't have none. I don't carry a gun. Then you won't mind if we check that, sir. I must apologize for doubting your word, Mr. Tarrant, Dave Tarrant. Of the BP S and D? That's right. Excellent. You will prove most useful, Mr. Tarrant. I'm obliged to remind you all of the rules of war. Anyone caught with a weapon while this town is occupied will be shot. Just how long do you plan to occupy this town, sir? We shall leave at a quarter past three this afternoon. What's supposed to happen then? At that time, Sergeant, General Sherman will be dead. They've got the whole town hostage. If I could just get a drop on this in Clara. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, you could get yourself killed and some other people, too. What are you going to do? Something sensible. Mrs. Sinclair. I understand you want all our weapons. Will? I'm most appreciative, ma'am. Jamie, Will, take the women and the children and put him in this house over here. Mr. Sinclair, may I stay in the store with my brother? I'm sorry, ma'am. I cooperated with you. Very well. I do appreciate what you did. You can stay with your brother. Move the men inside the store. The gentlemen. Jess. Easy. The Yankee soldiers picked that man up. Take him inside. Back, Mr. Tarrant, and you. It's a flesh wound. You survive. Oh, I'll be mighty fine. I'm hard to kill. Yes? Why did you shoot him? He was reaching for a gun. What caliber would you say this is? I couldn't tell for sure. Well, now you know. And there'll be no more shooting unless you are sure. Mr. Tarrant, take off his jacket. Does anyone have a knife? I said take off his jacket, Mr. Tarrant. Sergeant, I'm sorry about your wound, but I need your jacket and I can't have it bloodstained. Inside. Coming, Brad. I'll thank you for your uniform. You can undress in the storeroom, but be careful. Any uniform gets damaged. I'll damage the man that did it. All right, go ahead. Would you care to wait upstairs, ma'am? I'll wait here with the others, thank you. Miss Anderson, do you think you could find some clothes for my men? 
Of course. Wade, fetch some shirt. Sergeant seems shy. Maybe he just doesn't want to look at you. Let's go. I never thought I'd find myself in a blue belly uniform. But you do it for an assassination. Under the circumstances, I do not consider it to be dishonorable. This is not a battle. It is only an execution. Will, Lou, collect those uniforms. I suggest the rest of you relax. There'll be a guard posted outside, front and rear. How are we going to get out of here? We can't sneak out of here with all these guards. Let's rush the guard to the front door and take his gun. Sure, then we can get the second guard. There's nine of us against the other three. Now, most of us could get killed. No, Sergeant. Without guns, we can't rush five armed men. You're a cautious man, Sergeant. Yes, when it comes to the lives of women and children, I, I try to be. If Amy hadn't turned in our rifle, I could... What would you have done with it? made yourself into a hero so you could have a hero's burial. Amy, I... Uh, Wait a minute, Wade. She gave us a chance when she gave him that rifle. To do what? To prevent a murder. Miss Henderson, Sinclair trusts you. Talk to him. Distract him. That'll give me a chance to get out the back. And then what? I'll throw a siding switch. It should stop the general's train. He won't get here. They'll kill you. No, I don't think so. Sinclair sees himself as an honorable man. At any rate, he won't shoot anybody else. I'm sure he won't, because I won't help you. Uh, Miss Henderson, there'd be no risk to you personally. Perhaps. What about Mrs. Dolson and her children? They won't be involved. Now you're being logical, Mr. Tarrant. Well, those men are not logical. If you block their plan, they could kill every one of us. All right, you've, you've got every reason to be afraid. I'm not afraid for myself. Oh, I am afraid, but it's not just for myself. My father was a brave man. Storekeepers aren't supposed to be courageous, but he was. It killed him. Four years ago, some gunmen came into this, this store, and he was brave, and he went for his gun, and they shot him down right where he stood. He died right here. I watched him die. I scrubbed his blood off the counter. I'm sorry. Don't be. You taught me something. It's an ugly world, Mr. Tarrant. There really isn't very much mercy. I screamed for help. And nobody came. Does that have to mean you can't help any other man? It means that I, w I won't take a foolish risk for General Sherman, a man I don't even know. Can you understand that? Yes, I'm afraid I can. Well, maybe I could talk to Sinclair. Yes, you could talk to him, Barnabas, but you couldn't distract him. How can you be so sure? Because they're suspicious of every man in this town. Well, we don't know that, Dave. I do. kill a woman. Well, I didn't say kill. I said hurt. Is that clear enough? We've got to do something. We can. We can start by finding out who they are and what they plan to do. They're going to kill General Sherman, he said. Well, we don't know how. Where are you going? a little talk. You can't. Will you help me? No. Then don't interfere.
kill you. I want to talk to Captain Sinclair. Inside. Captain! Yes! It's important! Mr. Tarrant? Captain, you've come here to kill General Sherman. But along the way, a lot of innocent people might get hurt. There were five women and children named Sinclair. General Sherman taught them the high price of innocence when he marched to the sea. He and his army of devils burned and gutted our country. That was a war in which I was an officer, sir. An officer is responsible for the conduct of his troops, Mr. Tarrant. Even in the Yankee army. But how long does that responsibility last? The war's over. Wars don't end when generals surrender. They end when memories die. If I kill your wife and child, Mr. Tarrant, when will you forgive me? One year? Ten years? You can't kill a memory by killing a man. Sooner or later, all of you get killed as well. Blue there. This isn't his revenge, but he'll pay for it. Jess, Lou. They've all be hunted down. Where's Willie and Jamie? They were in front of that house. Jess, you stay at your post. Lou, cover the street. Mr. Tarrant. Now you stay in front of me. If there is a trap, it'll close on you first. Now move, sir. What's happening? Get back in. Why are they going to my house? Inside! Now that door opens again. I'll put a bullet to it. Dawson has some fresh pie. Looks tasty. It is, you. Go ahead and eat. There's enough for everybody, Captain. Would you like some? Thank you, ma'am. But not really. My sister Anne loved to bake. You don't remember your cousin, Anne. Go ahead and eat. She died when you were just babies. Like these. She wasn't full grown herself. She was just 18 the day she burned to death. Cousin Hugh. And finish your pie. Captain. My mother. My sister. My two aunts. Your second cousin, Jeffrey. He was a month shy of his eighth birthday. Oh, finish your pie. And they were just about finished breakfast when Sherman's army came. And they were frightened. Three women, a girl, seven-year-old boy. So they hid in the cellar. That pie smells good, doesn't it? I wonder what it smelled like when the house began burning. Stop it! You finish your pie. No. Then you finish what you came here for. General Sherman is coming in on that train. He's coming in today. We'll get him. We can't think of anything else. We can't do anything else. We have got to remember we are here for just one thing. To kill a man. Fire! No. Dismissed. There's nobody watching that back door now. Yeah, they don't have to. Lose on guard. I still can't believe Sinclair hurt the children. Mr. Dolson, Sinclair's a fanatic. He isn't going to allow anything to interfere with killing Sherman. Anything we do to stop him risks their lives. Gene Hutt. Stay in the street. We are going to practice. <laughs> 
until we are fit to be an honor guard for the general. Shoulder up. Hold. Lift. Pace. Wait. Hold. Rip. Hold. Rip. Hold. I right still think we ought to make a try for it. We can't take chances with my family. Do you believe, yeah. Tarrant? Oh. I'll kill you before I let you risk my children. Oh. Oh. Detail. Oh. Foot. Home. Guard. Post. Move. <laughs> Children outside. The men inside, yes. Jamie and Will, you cover the street. Miss Henderson out here. Miss Henderson? What be it? I said, send him away. I don't want to have to hurt an old man just because of your stubbornness. You send him away. Oh! A day of joy, Miss Henderson, graced by your sunlit presence. And to you, Mrs. Dolson, Sergeant. Odd. I don't recognize you. Sergeant Sinclair, from the fort. Oh, then the rumor is true that General William Tecumseh Sherman is arriving in person, <coughs> gracing our territory with a visit. You, you can't stay, Howley. Why not, Clay? We've had sickness. It might be typhoid. Oh, but I have remedies, Sergeant, for every ill that, that afflicts the human body. You will have to move on, Howley. We've had sickness, and you're just not welcome. Miss Henderson, I have regarded you as a friend. Now I am forced to amend my consideration. The lady was just anxious about your health, sir. Perhaps. Your gallant, Sergeant, which is rare. Thank you, sir. As rare as a Georgia gentleman wearing Union Army stripes. How did you know I came from Georgia? Well, frankly, I was once an actor. <laughs> Toward the breadth of the length of this union, sir, including Georgia. <laughs> oh, I can trace uh, an accent as a bloodhound traces a fugitive. <laughs> oh, you are clearly educated, distinctly from Georgia, and probably from the other side of uh, Atlanta. <laughs> Remarkable, come to think of it. A southern gentleman welcoming Sherman. <laughs> well, it's been a long time since the war, Holly. True, true. But it still makes for an intriguing story. I am afraid it does. And I can't have you telling it. You step down, sir. <laughs> Military action. Military action. Well, that sounds good, Captain. Just because you might have told him. Yes. And I will take no chances. Only a short time. Then we'll be out of your lives forever. Keep them out of temptation's way. Not you. 
All right, men in the back room. Trust the rest of us? I need Mr. Tarrant and his assistant. I hold your wife and your children. I'm sure you'll be reasonable. And I want you separate from your men. So less than an hour, gentlemen, Miss Henderson. I beg you all, do not be reckless. Yes? Gotta do something. Why? Why do we have to gamble our lives for a stranger? It's not for a stranger, Amelia. It's against a killing. There's already been one unnecessary death. Howley? There mustn't be any others. Then you won't help. The lady's afraid, Mr. Dawson. I'm being sensible. It's not cowardice. You're trying to keep yourself walled in, away from all feeling. One man is dead, Amelia. And when you're being so sensible, another man's going to be killed. If we don't do anything to stop them, we're just as guilty as they are. Which one of you carries a pocket watch? You'll get it back. Cousin Hugh's got to be certain of the time. Your watch says it's 214. The one over there only reads 2 o'clock. You wouldn't be fooling around with the clocks now, would you? Why should we? Because we got to be ready for that train at exactly 3 o'clock. That one runs slow. Needs fixing. Give the command, present arms. The front rank will drop to a kneeling position. Bring your rifle to the shoulder and fire. Here, each hut. Freeze it. on the roof. I can send a message to a friend in Briggs Junction. Oh, the guards will catch you. Not if I go out there and distract them. 
No. I'll handle the guard. All I need is five minutes. I'll get you the five minutes wait. Where are you going? Uh, I, I was just going to go show Barnabas my rock collection. I guess that's all right. Call yourself an officer and a gentleman. You're a murderer! That's enough, you inside. I'm calling you out. Your choice of weapons. Inside! You or any of your kin. You're all murderers. Get back inside, Turn. Killed a harmless old man, Sinclair. Are you afraid to fight me on even terms? Wasn't you! We have no time for personal arguments. Captain, I don't know what they're up to, but they opened the attic door to the roof. Quiet. His friend is up on Quiet. the roof now. Look. You betrayed it. I didn't know that Wade was in on it. No. You thought it was Barnabas. Now, does that excuse you? Boy, I should have you shot. He didn't know what he was doing. Yes, I did. Quiet. I knew what I was doing. It was my idea. Be quiet. Quiet, both of you. Please, Miss Henderson. I should have you shot, but I won't. Because it was your idea, sir. Wasn't it? No. Wait. Dave, you know it wasn't your idea. Quiet! Wasn't it? Yes. And that's why you came outside to challenge me to a duel. That's right. I accept your challenge. You will have your duel. My choice of weapons. And I am going to kill you, Mr. Chance. Soldiers should be crated and stored like rifles. Looking for another war, are you, General? Scarcely. I told my new recruits, all of them, war is hell. It's not glory and it's not adventure, but pure hell. I'll go along with that. I served with the Confederacy during that war. And I fought against it. You know, every time an ex-Confederate looks at me, I can see the accusation. That I burned half of Georgia in my march to the sea. Well, that all seems like it happened a long time ago, General. It's a new country out here. It's got a great future. And I'm trying to build a new rail. Not preserve old havens. I appreciate that.
if Dave's killed, you're to blame. I know. I know. I'm sorry. <gasps> That's easy enough, isn't it? If he does get killed, I'm getting out of here no matter what. We all are, no matter what. It isn't hardly a fair duel. Well, Terrence asked for it. Be careful, Yankee. That hill will be the last thing you'll ever touch. Not your weapon, sir? I've handled this saber before. Don't make no difference. Cousin Hugh was the best swordsman in the entire corps. Killed three men with a saber. Old men, Captain? On guard, sir. our chance. So I don't want you to warn Sinclair again. I won't. I'd like to be sure of that. Go ahead. Yes? Get his assistant out there and Miss Henderson. Mr. Tarrant, you get out your equipment. Distract Sinclair. When he hears smile, get the women and children off the platform. Thank you. The rest of you fall in. Remember, file one volley. No one else is to be harmed. Just the great marauder. The Butcher Sherman. Wheezy, why don't you practice your poem? Hey, General Sherman's coming. Yeah, you, you go ahead. What's she up to? A distraction. Kenneth of Fran in its glory, thrown down on the flag of the free. East and the west for our standards, as Sherman marched down to the sea. And the blood of the patriot dampened the soil where the traitor flag falls. Don't forget, Barnabas. I give you the signal. You holler, smile, good and laugh. Right. 
Sounds like quite a show. <laughs> Been waiting all day. I imagine they're pretty excited. Pleasure reception for you, General. Do you have a match? Weezy, recite your poem for the General. Kennesaw frown in its glory, frowned down on the flag of the free, and the east and the west bore out standards as Sherman marched down to the sea. A woman from Heath's past returns to forever change his future, next on the Big Valley. Then at 4, 3 Central, she swore she would avenge her husband's death, and Marshall Dillon is her intended target. Stay tuned for Gunsmoke as the best of the West continues here on the Family Channel.